what's going on guys in this video I want to show you a very cool tutorial I think which is how to use the two pins on your ESP8266-01 Wi-Fi module to control eight LEDs so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the I square C functionality of the pins and we're going to connect them to an input output expander IC and that input expander IC gives us access to eight GPIOs and that's where I've connected my LEDs so let me go ahead and show you the circuit and the code so the name of the IC that I'm using which is the input output expander is the MCP23008 when you buy it make sure that you buy this one and not the one that has an S in it the one with the S in it is for SPI communication but like I said, we're doing I square C, so you want to get the I square C version. The power supply that I'm using is this one. Uh, it's a pretty good power supply. It lets you select between 5 and 3.3 volts. And I know some of you are having trouble powering up your circuits. And with this power supply, I haven't had any problems. So I recommend that you get it. So this is a schematic for my circuit. Notice that I've connected GPIO from the module to SCL. So GPIO 0 goes to SCL. GPIO 0 2 goes to SDA. And I have the address pins connected to ground. And I have the reset pin to 3.3 volts. And these are my LEDs. So this is the circuit that I'm using with the power supply that I just showed you and that's where I'm getting my 3.3 volts from so now that you know how to connect the circuit let me go ahead and show you the code that I wrote so for the code I actually created a github repository and there are two files that I made so the first file is the module so I created a module for the MCP23008 which you can find in Lua modules I will be posting a link directly to the file in the description of this video. So this is my Lua module. So that is one of the files that you'll need. And the actual app code, which is the one where uh, you know you get to control the LEDs, that's in Lua examples. And that one is called MCP23008 LEDs. So this is the other file that you will need. This is where we actually tell the input output expander what to do so before I show you how to upload these two files to your ESP let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the uh, code that I wrote here so we were going to require the module so that we have access to its functions through this object this is where we define the pins so GPIO 0 is actually pin 3 and GPIO 2 is defined as pin 4 according to the mapping on this page. So this is for the ESP01. If you're using another ESP version, make sure that you put here the correct pins for the uh, I2C square pins that you want to use. So this is where we set up the IO expander. The first parameter is your address parameter like I said I have connected my three address bits to ground that's why in my code this first parameter which is the address parameter is zero then you pass the SDA pin and the SCL pin and then the speed of the I square C the next thing I do is I set the direction for the pins of the IO expander so I want them all to be output so there's eight of them that's why I'm using a byte here so this sense puts a zero in the first four this puts a zero in the other four so all of them are outputs when you put a zero in the IO there register and the next thing I do is I turn off the pins so the, G the right GPIO function is the one that turns the LEDs on and off so once again the byte represents 
each of the LEDs or each of the bits in this bike represents the state of the LED when it's one it will be on when it's zero it will be off next I created a function that reads the values from the GPIO and then if it's less than uh, if it's if it's less than 255 which is when all the uh, LEDs are on then it will increment the value that's why you see the LEDs are like a binary counter and otherwise we will reset the GPIO to zero so this is when all the LEDs are off and this timer here is simply triggers my count function every 100 milliseconds So that is the code. Now let me go ahead and show you how I uploaded it to the ESP module. So I've actually downloaded this program called ESP or Explorer, which uh, lets you interface with the ESP module. So I'll be posting a link to where you can download it. So what you need to do is download those two files that I showed you. And once you have done that, you want to open them in this program. So you click here to open them and you want to open both of them. Then you want to select the mcp23008.lua file. This is the modules file. And you want to make sure that, uh, that you have uh, clicked open here so that it opens a connection to your ESP. So you also have to be connected to your computer through FTDI or any other way you want to do it. But anyway, so you want to click save to ESP. So once you click to save to ESP, it will save that module file to your ESP and you're going to get a message or maybe, maybe you might get it, you might not get it. But if you see this message here, don't worry about it. That's fine. So now that we have uploaded the modules file, you want to upload the examples file, which is this one. So you want to click on this tab, click save to ESP and after that your program should should uh, start running and the LED should start turning on and off so that's it for this video don't forget to check out my Give, github repository give it a star I just posted uh, these examples today and I'm planning to submit them for the official firmware so hopefully they found it useful and accept it uh, I have many more cool examples for other uh, for other ICs that I found, so I will be posting those pretty soon. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.